Good evening and welcome to Virtual Open House 2020. My name is Tony Pryor and I am your child's AP statistics teacher. Uh, the beginning of this year has been great. The class has been very engaged and the students are, are interacting well. I'm excited about uh, what the year has in store for us. A little bit about myself. I've been in College Station ISD about 25 years and I've been teaching AP statistics about 20 years. Um, I also teach geometry. I coach football and I'm the girls soccer coach as well. Uh, this class is, in my opinion, the best, most applicable academic class that we offer at our school. I think that the learning and the thinking that goes on in this class um, really is fantastic for students in their, in their growth and their educational path and really uh, for the rest of their lives, regardless of what they may do in college or beyond that. Uh, just in the everyday living, the things that we'll cover in this class are so, so valuable and useful in so many different arenas. Um, I believe that, that statistics is learned by doing it. And so I have uh, an assignment basically every night. Uh, I keep a calendar. There's one on the on the on my webpage, uh, stonyprior.com slash stat. You can also access that through Schoology and uh, keep up with the assignments, but I believe they have to do problems, really get their hands dirty with them to understand what's going on. Um, the mantra of the class is to think, and I hope that the students learn how to think and think critically and, and evaluate their thinking as they go through uh, this course. Um, I'm available for tutoring, mostly uh, by request. I'm here most mornings. I uh, usually am, am coaching in the afternoons, uh, but I will figure out a way if, if your uh, son or daughter needs some help in the class to get that. Um, a lot of times I make videos of problems or of other explanations and I can send that to them. Um, the answer key to our book is just accessible in my classroom so they can use that to check over their work. Um, the, the homework itself is sort of a small percentage of their grade and the tests are really where the, the, the grading comes from. So we use the homework and the quizzes as a learning process so the students can understand what the material is really teaching them. Uh, I, I try to kind of treat this class as a bridge between the high school environment um, and the college environment, sort of the safety net of the high school environment where they have really good access to the teacher and the book and we're kind of on them about stuff. And then this is sort of where the weaning uh, begins, where we're preparing them for, for going off on their own, perhaps into college and uh, doing it by themselves and being responsible for their own work. And so I put uh, the monkey really on their back to uh, let me know when they're struggling, um, to, to speak up for themselves, to advocate for themselves, uh, perhaps to argue their position if that's appropriate at the time. And, uh, and I will let them uh, essentially sink or swim with, with the effort and the uh, initiative that they put forth. Um, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, senioritis kicks in and some students don't uh, perform as well. And, and that's really a lesson that is, is hard, but it's easier to learn that in high school than it is when you're paying uh, big bucks for a college class and that. And uh, so, I, you know, the, the idea is really that I want them to take ownership in their learning and in their education. Um, and, and this class is a good way uh, to start with that. If there's ever something that I can do to help your, your son or daughter out, please have them contact me and, and we'll work something out. And likewise, if you need some information from me, um, just communicate that with me and we can get it out uh, to you. Uh, thanks for coming today and uh, I hope you have a great evening. Probably to make this realistic, you should uh, go out and, and walk about a quarter mile between each of these videos to give you a realistic idea of what your students are doing here at school, maybe even climb some steps in the meantime. Have a great night.